Our road to the Pillsbury Bake Off contest continues on March 27th. We will be live from Orlando, Florida to announce the million dollar winner. Today we'd like to introduce you to Nadine Clark, whose love of experimenting in the kitchen could make her a millionaire. Hi, I'm Nadine Clark from Quakertown, Pennsylvania. I'm a finalist in the 45th Pillsbury Bake Off contest. And this is my entry, Thai Chicken Subs. I'm a huge foodie and I develop recipes almost on a weekly basis. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. It's getting kind of fun. Yeah, it's just flour and butter. It almost looks like cheese fondue. I usually cook for my husband, but I also like to share my recipes and ideas with my neighbors and also with my friends. My mom also helps me test my recipes. Uh, she's a great taster and gives a lot of really good feedback. Well, the tomatoes will give it the moisture. Tonight for dinner, I'm making shrimp etouffee. It's something I've never made before, so I hope it turns out good. So this is my Pillsbury Doughboy, and he's the good luck charm. I like to cook on the weekends because uh, that's when I have free time and I can be more creative. So I like to look at a lot of different recipes and then start to come up with my own version of it. And I give it a try. Usually it works, but sometimes it doesn't. She had this wild idea that blue cheese and meatloaf was going to be a great combination. And then the truth hurt. There have been all kinds of perfect food, but the, the stuff that wasn't so perfect, that's the more fun to talk about. I, I will get vegetables I've never heard of, I've never seen. I don't know how to pronounce it, and yet it tastes divine. It's, it's great food. I get a lot of inspiration in cooking from traveling. We go to Jamaica almost once a year. So I was in Japan this year and was inspired by some really delicious soups that I had there. So really a lot of travel experience is what helps me be more creative in the kitchen. My recipe is a Thai chicken sub based on a banh mi sandwich. And basically I took ingredients that my husband and I liked and added that to the banh mi and switched it up a little bit. And the ingredients are Pillsbury French loaf. It has some chicken, some Jif peanut butter to make a spicy peanut sauce, and it includes a variety of vegetables on top to make a nice slaw. I was actually part of the You Be the Judge voting challenge. So over the summer, um, two recipes were paired up head to head, and the winner advanced the bake off, and the other person has a chance to try again. And essentially everyone I knew, I asked them to vote for me. In Twitter, I, I sent uh, tweets to all of my favorite celebrity chefs in hopes that someone would tweet. And I actually ended up getting over 50,000 tweets by having celebrity chefs retweet for me. I was a finalist in the 44th Pillsbury Bake Off contest that was held in 2010. The uh, advantage of being a second time finalist is that you're just a little bit more relaxed. I certainly know what to expect and I'm prepared to make my recipe and do the best I can. I think there's a little strategy on the Pillsbury Bake Off contest on when you submit your recipe. My strategy is get in there fast. When they're still hungry and they haven't had anything to eat yet, and your sandwich tastes like the best thing they've had. Let's have some dinner. Okay. It looks right on the money, babe. Very good. I think entering the Pillsbury Bake Off contest uh, is a great experience for anyone. To be successful and have some creative ideas. Don't be so boxed in by recipes that exist. Just try and be free and create your own ideas. Cheers. Joining us live from her home in Quakertown, Pennsylvania via Google Hangout, please welcome Nadine. Hi, Nadine. Hi, Martha, how are you? How many times do you have to make the subs before your uh, recipe was perfected? You know what? I, I made the recipe a couple times as a just a weeknight dinner for my husband and I, and then I decided to tweak it to enter it to Pillsbury. I made it one time. It was perfect, so I hope that bodes well for the future. Well, what was the biggest challenge during the Bake Off contest? Well, during the Bake Off, there are a lot of people that want to come and talk to you. So whether it's media or grocery store representatives or even maybe other finalists, there are a lot of people that want to talk to you, but you still, you still need to cook. So you need to remember to make sure that your French loaf is not burning and that everything is coming together and you know your, your final product is what you want to submit to the judges. So what were the two ingredients that you used uh, from Pillsbury? I used the Pillsbury French loaf and then I also used Jif peanut butter. Oh, that's good. Yeah, very, mm -hmm. very creative use. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And we'll see you in Florida in just a few days. Don't miss the Martha Stewart Show, weekdays at 10 and 2, only on Hallmark Channel.